much, you baby, much, you baby, yeah, 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 yeah,
All right, we got the homie King Royalty. He on deck. State your name, gangster. This is King Royalty, aka Mr. Swag or King Row. It's your boy, the King of the Queen City. You already know we out here in Charlotte, North Carolina, uptown, Bobcats Arena. You know what's going down out here. Representing, we about to do this for the Carolina thing. King Row about to go ham. I got a whole bunch of movements going on. Got a new mixtape coming out. Club King, look up for that. Uh, and of 2012 for uh, December. We about to do that thing. I got an EP coming out also. Around February, ain't really got a uh, title on the date on it, but it's coming soon. Work hard on that. Grinding shows, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get my name out there. Try to put on for my city. Put on for, you know what I'm saying, my team. You know, we're trying to do it. So how you get that name, King Royalty? King Royalty, I got it for my name. Actually, uh, my grandmother named me um, Raquan, so she said that's like, you know, number one, like king. So my whole life I was been called Royalty as a little kid. So when I grew up, I was like, let me put a king in the beginning of it. Call me King Royalty, and I'm going to live by that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no just no name pick. That's me. That's who I am my whole life. So I'm a king Royalty. I'm a king for life. How long you been rapping? I've been rapping about, say about 10 years, but I've been really going hard on my crap about three years, three and a half years. Okay. How you feel about the uh, the radio support in Charlotte for the underground artists? Radio support? Um, it's so-so, like, I think they kind of dip-dab into it. You know, they try to look out for a lot of artists, but I don't think they can go as hard as they really could go to, you know what I'm saying, because they really have the big hand that can help and put us out, our Carolina artists to the masses, and there's a lot of us out here grinding and going hard, so you can't really say, you know, we ain't putting no work in, I see a lot of artists that are really doing their thing, got mad talent, you know, real dead serious, dedicated, 24-7 hustle to the game, so um, I think they can put more of their hand into it. All right, so what you think about the underground scene out here, the, the pros and the cons? The pros and the cons. Um, the pros and the cons, I say pros will start off with that. There's a lot of a lot of great artists, a lot of great talent, R&B. Um, there's even pop artists, uh, country, um, punk rock. There's a lot of good underground going on, you know what I'm saying? But my con thing is, is really the unity. We need to bring it together. We need to be a family. Stop picking east side, west side, north side. We just to be all sides. I always say seven on four, put your phones up, because that's for all four sides together. That's unity, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I say, put your phones up. All right, so uh, you got any new mixtapes coming out? Any new singles? Yeah, mixtape, Club King, December, uh, mid December this year, coming out. Uh, like I said, my EP coming out um, early next year. Uh, my new single, I Want You, King Royalty, featuring Tate. Um, also on Power 98, you can also check me up on futureflavors.com, power98fm.com. Uh, check me out there with uh, Yasmin Young, pure interview on there. Um, new track, Ratchet, in the clubs right now, Strip Club. They call me the Strip Club King, they call me the Club King. So I ain't take that name for no reason. People actually call me that because I go ham for the club. So. Check out Ratchet, I Want You, featuring Tate, King Royalty. So, uh, speaking of strip clubs, how many strip clubs it is out here in Charlotte? How many strip clubs? I say there's probably about maybe like 15. <laughs> probably about 15 clubs out here. Not as many, but there's always new clubs popping up. So, mainly dance clubs around, but strip clubs are probably about 15. But regular hip hop clubs is. I don't know, it's about 30, 40 hit things. What's the top three strip clubs? It's the top three Onyx, Club Nicky's, Uptown Cabaret. Top Uptown three. Cabaret, all right, all right. You got some bars for us? Give us a quick 16. Some bars, okay. All right. Here we go, sip a chain, member flow, you know how we do, raggedy do with dirty shoes. I got a mind of my own, nah, I got a few, maybe more than two, who knew? I would come out this way, I can see because of his name, born with the holy name. Bite your tongue, don't call me out of my name, I bite my tongue, come put his name in vain, it's all the same. Everybody sound the same, listen to your radio waves, K-I-N-G, it's me, king of the Queen City.
<laughs> all right, all right. That was hot. That was hot. Yeah, appreciate it. So, uh, what what producers are you working with out here? Um, right now, I'm working with A Five Music. Shout out to A Five Music dot com. Um, working with the EP with him. Uh, you know, he's from Charlotte. He's really doing his thing. So, we decided to put our minds together, put our skills skills together. He said he liked the swag, like the swag. So, we put that together, working hard, um, being in the studio. 10 hours, 15 hours, basically a day. So we really been grinding it out, you know, doing our thing. So them and um, shout out to Young Stella. Yeah, he's a full with the production, full with the engineering. Great artist, too, is my homeboy. The whole team, whole squad, it's the movement. Oh, yeah. right. What uh, what part of Charlotte are you from? East Side Charlotte, all day. Okay, what is like out there? What's life like on the east side? Life on the east side is... Ratchet. That's all I can say. You got to watch your back, you know, make sure you know where you're going or who you know, you know what I'm saying? But it's still, you know, still love out there, you know. If you're from out of town, come down there, just don't be acting wild, but it's all love. All right, all right. So where can people check out your music at? You can check me out on ReverbNation.com at I am King Royalty, Django.com, King Royalty. Hit me up on Facebook at I am King Royalty, Twitter, the King Royalty. Just put King Royalty, I'm going to pop up. I'm all over the neck right now. All right, all right. So um, give your final shout-outs, your final parting shots. Final shout-out, Young Stella, Young Ziggy, A5 Music, whole Carolina, whole Charlotte. It's our turn. Everybody had theirs. Now it's time to come out, take over. It's the world. The world's in our hands. Put God first. Let go. Let's do it again. All right, man. What's up, y'all? The world. My name's Lonnie, man. I'm all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, Southeast. Shout out to the Cater. Here in Charlotte, I've been here now for two months. And, you know, met a girl on Facebook about six months ago. She invited me to come down here to stay. So in two months ago, I took that offer. I came. Everything was going peaches and cream. Just happened to go through my cell phone, found some text messages with me and another young lady, which I was guilty of, you know, and threw me out. So when I went to Greyhound here, Basically, it was charging me 140 for a ticket. Didn't quite have it all, so I came down to Traveler's Aid. Traveler's Aid, the guy in there, he was real nice to me. He wanted to pay half of my tickets. If I do 70, he'll do the other half. Didn't really know what else to do because I didn't have all of my parts. So I came out, was walking, happened to run into some stars amongst the city. You know, told them about my story and what I was going through. And these brothers have been blessed enough to help me to be able to pay my half to get back to Atlanta, Georgia, right here in the, in the Carolinas. So I'm very thankful for that. You know what King Royalty taking care of the streets, man. That's what we're going to do. We're going to show some love to you. God bless you. Thanks, man. Keep Keep doing your thing. That's That's what's up. up. And this is Carolina Love. You know, Georgia, SIC, Scrooge McDuck, King Royalty. We're showing support to the the people. That's what's up, man. Showing niggas love out here, baby. All right, man. Shout out, Carolina. Lego, King Row, K I N G, Mr. Swag. Shout out, Scrooge McDuck, SIC Management. They in here. We in here taking over. Let go. Turning off the lights, turning off the lights, turning off the lights. And girl, you know we gon' be up all night, up all night, up all making love, yeah. Just a hook for you, you know what I mean? It's nice. You know what I mean? So, I mean, just me listening to hey, your well, sound. Said, fly me the track. All right, that's what's up. I got to <laughs> Can't tweet him nothing, man. This man, we can't get out of this man. 804-819-6573. What's your name, pimp? Cody. Cody got, AM. Got, All right. It's a lot of talent in this world. Ton. Are you sure? But like you just said, who's serious? I you know, I try and move the You know what I mean? It's an oasis, man. We just, we just try and make it happen, man. You know what I mean? So, you know, everybody, man, you know what it is. It's Omar A, man. We out here. We in Charlotte, NC. Scrooge McDuck behind the camera, man. Just just making it all happen, man. So, uh, you know, big love. Shout out to Scrooge for putting us on volume one. Definitely put me on volume two as well. Yeah, we just out here trying to make it happen. Everybody, let me let you know that you can follow me on that Twitter, man. That's that at Omar A Oasis. At Omar A Oasis. You can hit me on my website www.omaraoasis.com You can like me on Facebook Obviously you know the theme Facebook.com 
Omar o A Oasis, you know, the black backsplash, backslash first. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we just doing our thing, man. You know, we got the album coming out, the I'm Him, the fourth album. We got the singles already dropped. You know what's coming. You can get that on CD Baby, iTunes, Google Play Store, Rap City, Spotify. I mean, you, you name this, the social media outlet, we can get it to you on there. Got the second single, Grown Man Music. Got the music video about to be shot for that. It's in the works right now. We're working up the treatment. So we just doing big things, man. We did Future Flavors in Charlotte, you know, just to make sure we tapped into all the opportunities for the unsigned artists here in the city, man. And nothing's too small, you know, whether it be you're performing on the corner or performing at, at, at Madison Square Garden. You got to do it all, man. You ain't on until you want, you know? All right, we got Omar A in the building. Scott. So tell the people, who is Omar A? Omar A is a singer, songwriter, man, that, that brings all the elements, I feel, to music, you know what I mean? If you want to lay it down with the lady, I, I got that for you. I'm going to take care of you on that. If you need help spitting game before you even get the lady, I got that for you as well. And ladies, I got what you need. I'm him. So, you know, I'm the man that make you laugh, that make you cry, that make you happy, make you sad, take you around the world, you know, or just chill with you on the block. Um, it, it's, it encompasses all that when you think about Omar A. But I think one of the biggest things about Omar A that the people will love and appreciate is that I don't just make hot singles. I'm about making hot albums. Because by making hot albums, you automatically going to get hot singles. You know, I came up in the era where you, if you couldn't make a hot album, you couldn't make it at all. So that, that's what Omar A is in the essence, to make you feel good, to make you appreciate your woman, to make you appreciate your life, but at the same time, do it in an album setting instead of just one song, you know? That's, that's Omar A right there. Okay, okay. So, what has been the biggest obstacle in your career? I, I think just like everybody else, it's that money, man. It's that paper. People don't realize how much money it takes just to do the simple things. So imagine trying to do the simple things in every single state and every single country. It's just, you know, you got to have a lot of paper behind you. You got to have a lot of belief behind you, which I do have. Got a great team, but you know what I mean? It, it's just the paper. So the biggest obstacle, man, for us has just been the money. That's it. And everything else, we can handle that. You know, it's just making sure we got the paper to make things happen, especially when the people want it. You got to feed that beast. Okay. How do you feel about the Charlotte hip-hop scene? Charlotte hip-hop scene is definitely something It's different because I feel like you got a lot of cats from up top, such as myself, a lot of Philly cats, a lot of New York cats. We down here. We here. And, and we make a lot of noise. You, you know where we at. We in the building. We in the building, I think. But... I think Charlotte is also Southern because they're so close to Atlanta, plus the cats who live here. I think there's more that could be done, you know what I'm saying? I think Charlotte is a lot of love here. Cats show love. Like, it's not a lot of hating going on, but I think they could do more, you know what I mean? It's a lot of opportunities down here. It's a lot of outs. It's a lot of outlets that are not explored, and I think Charlotte has played more from the mainstream in the underground and I definitely think when you in hip hop and you you ain't signed or you knew you got to play that underground, you got to play them streets and I think that's what need to happen more in Charlotte I think the, 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 the hip hop cats need to play more of that street level and they'll get that mainstream, that's gonna come So, how do you feel about radio support for underground artists in Charlotte? I, I, I don't think it's it's there, but it's not Like you know, you got things like Future Flavors and you got things like The Next Big Thing that are on Power 98, but, you know, in Philly, you got the underground hour on DJ shows, you got Friday nights on the unsigned, you know what I mean, you got a lot of, you actually got windows where that's all that's being played, so cats can truly, truly shine, I mean, you know, we all know about peyote, you know, that's, that's, that's old news that's still around, that's not front, but at the same time, Again, since there's only really one radio station, I think that restricts the DJs at the radio station. I put I don't put it as much on the DJs there as I do about the situation they in. They got one radio station and they got bosses and they got kids to feed. So, you know, when that program director come with that playlist, I mean, a lot of times you just got to ride with it. So I, I don't think there's enough full radio outlets in Charlotte that, that that local artists can take advantage of to truly get heard. Whereas though, you know, you really got to do that internet thing. So... How long you been doing music? Man, I, I started my first album. My first full album was done in 01. My first EP was done when I was like 18. 
And, you know, I started writing heavy when I was around 15, 16, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm a good 15, 16 in the game, man. This is nothing new. We're on our fourth album. You know, we've been lucky enough. Each album has done better. And now this album has really put us in a position to take that next step. And now we just got to make sure we do the work. We can't put it on nobody else. We got to do the work. And, you know, it's my team, man. They, 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 they're ridiculous. Some of the love, like cats like my oh, man Screw right here, just show you love. As long as you come through, you're serious, and you got that fire, you know, it's definitely been, it been, definitely been a movement. So where do you see your career going in the next five years? Next five years, man, you know, trying. To, I'm hoping to look at about $100 million, um, you know, at least three Grammys, Best New Artist, Album of the Year, Record of the Year, um, you know, hopefully anywhere between 20 and 25 million records sold. And, uh, you know, at a point where I'm helping put other artists on and that the music that I'm putting out is truly a brand where I know I got this many fans, I got a following of this much, I'm making music to make sure that I keep them appeased and happy, but at the same time, helping other dreams come true. I ain't gonna, I don't wanna be an artist that sign artists and hold them back. No, I wanna be an artist that signs somebody like Kind did with, with Lady Gaga and sit back and collect that check, you know what I mean? So that, that's where I'm, my thought process is. I'm thinking big. You reach for the moon, but only get the stars. You still got a lot going on. What's the name of your first three albums? The first, first album was called You Can Make It Happen. The second album was called I'm Only Human. The third album was called Yeah, The Oasis. And this fourth upcoming album is going to be entitled I'm Him. When's that dropping? Right now, we ain't got a date for it because we're going to play these singles hard. Being unsigned, one thing I'm going to tell my unsigned cats, my independent cats, some of you already know this when I'm preaching to the choir, but some of you may not. You work the hell out of a single when you unsigned. You work it because guess what? Every hood, every market, every city, every town, every state that you go in that's new, that song is new to them. So you work it and you work it and you work it so you have to move on. Remember, you don't got the budget that Jay-Z got to drop three, four singles and have them all rotate around the world at the same time. So you work your single. If we ain't learned nothing from Nelly, we learned that when he, he worked the hell out of country grammar that single for years, by the time we got it, he was big. So you work that single. So what, what market do you feel like is the next big market to blow in hip-hop? Oh, man, Charlotte, man. That's why I'm here. I mean, I'm an R&B cat all the way. I'm a singer, but... You know, the hip-hop, you follow the hip-hop dollars, they trickle down to everybody else. Hip-hop is like the NFL right now. It feeds everything else. So I definitely feel Charlotte. Once again, you got a lot of up-top cats coming down here. It's a banking financial capital, so money's here. And then you got ATL right there around the corner. I mean, easily Charlotte, man. Florida right below it. And to me, it makes no sense. But it makes no sense to think anywhere else besides Charlotte. So where can people find your first three albums? And my first three albums, they're all over the place right now. That I mean, that's lesson learned when you first get in this game and you first really, really start making records. Track it a little, a little better. But uh, you can find my first records, man. You really going to have to get at me on those. Um, hit me on my website. Hit me on the Twitter. Hit me on the Facebook. And I can get those out to you, you know what I mean? Because they're not as readily available as this new record is. But the Year of the Oasis... You know, a lot of that is on my website, omaraoasis.com. Again, omaraoasis.com, and you can hear a lot of old records from that joint. Uh, but the first two, you know, over 10, 10, 12 years old, they moved a couple times, you know, so we won't have as, it won't have them as readily available. So usually when people get at me, I sh shoot them out to you, and of course, that's all free. I pick up the shipping, even if you want me to send it to Australia. If you request my music, I'm going to make sure you get it. You ain't going to have to come out your pocket for that. So, so what's your Twitter? What's your Facebook? Twitter is at Omar A Oasis, at Omar A Oasis. That's that Twitter. Follow me. My website again is omaraoasis.com, and that Facebook is Facebook backslash omaraoasis.com. You got any shout outs you want to give? Shout your team out, shout, oh, yeah. shout your cities, shout. Oh, Philly all day, North Philly, 8th and Diamond, 7th and Huntington, man, 7th and York. You know, that's where we grew up at. That's who we are. We never going to be nothing different. Shout out to the Berg. That's where I went to school, lived there for years. Chaos the Blackjack. My man A.O. down here in Charlotte, one of the hottest rappers in Charlotte. I want to shout out to Celine Wilson, man, probably the dopest writer just in the game, period. I'm glad to have him on the team. Shout out to Funk Child, crazy producer, crazy writer, works on the team. Much love. Shout out to my man Dizzy. You know what I mean? That's my young boy. Always gonna have faith in him, man. He grind hard as I don't know what, man. My man Pop, my man Land, my man YM the Kid, 
all y'all dope, man. You know, if I forgot about you, you know, I only got a certain amount of time. I can't blow it up too long. But, you know, I'm with you. My man Pro, my man Pop, like I said, man, it's, it's just a team of cats that have made the Omar 8 brand a bigger brand than what it is. And if you ain't, you only as strong as your team, man. All right, so we got Omar A signing off, man. Get your last words. My last words is it's an oasis. You got me blushing. Sexy. What's your name, homie? Alita. Look at this sexy girl we got out here. Thank you. Turn around, turn around. Uh, what part of Charlotte are you from? Southside. Southside? Yeah. It's fun out there? It's alright. What kind of guys you like? Tall, light skin. <laughs> Camera shy? Yes. <laughs> Who your favorite DJ out here? Scrooge McDuck. Who? Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, we out here. We got the homie Big Borderline in the building. State your name, son. What it is, man. Big Borderline representing another realm entertainment, A-R-E, bang! All right, all right. So, um, let the people know where you from. Man, I'm born in Cleveland, Ohio, man. Moved down to Charlotte at a young age, back and forth my whole life, representing West Side, Tucker Seed, Freedom Drive, Betis Ford, Westwood, that's my whole area, man. All right, all right. Well, um, how long you been rapping? Man, I've been rapping seriously for like the last, almost last five, six years. I really, you know what I'm saying? I started at a young age. I had a lot of opportunities to do some things, but you know, being a young dude, I messed a whole lot of that up just with my attitude and you know what I'm saying, want to be young and dumb. You know what I'm saying? I took a break for a little bit. Just recently, I just got back into the game. And she just took a spin. All right. How you describe your, your sound of music? Man, honestly, I can't describe it. I really cannot describe it, man. It, it sounds it sounds so other. That's, that's why another realm feels to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm going to put it to you like this. If you mix J, T.I., Bone Crusher, sprinkle in some Mortal Kombat, and the little pieces are too short, then you probably get something close, almost, sort of, kind of, not quite borderline. I feel it, I feel it. So, how you get hooked up with Another Realm? Grinding, man. Doing shows, man. I, 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 I start seeing, I start seeing a movement, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then I start, when I start getting back into it, seriously, going out and do these little open mics and whatnot, I caught Queen attention. They, the label caught my attention at the same time I caught theirs. You know what I'm saying? And it's like for a long time it was sort of like I was kind of courting them and they didn't really know. So I just, you know what I'm saying, put forth my maximum effort. And one day I just came out and asked Queen because I'm like, I figured, you know what? Closed mouth don't get fed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I went through some people, made some connections. Got that Queen. I'm like, you know what? I, I love the movement. I love what y'all doing. What about me? And she was loving it. I sent her a couple songs. They loved them. Then a couple days, I was on the lake. I hear that. I hear that. So, how's life on the west side of Charlotte? Man, life on the west side of Charlotte is lovely. You wake up. Some days you wake up the gunshots. Some days you wake up the bird chirping. You never know what you're going to get. The west side of Charlotte is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> okay, I, I feel it. I feel it. It's a big ass nigga right here. He look like he's knocking niggas out. My wife won't let me get my tattoo. I'm gonna get two sword offs on my forearms. So when a nigga asks me why I got sword offs on my forearms, I'll just bang. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm with it. So, um, how do you feel about the radio support for for the underground artists in Charlotte? Man, don't get me started on the radio support in Charlotte. Man. Listen. Radio support in Charlotte, they support whoever the hell they feel like, whoever greasing their pockets, and I'm saying like that. You got some, you got some, you got some DJs that are rock with you. It's it's some underground DJs, you know what I'm saying? They they do their little radio stations 
on the weekends and whatnot. Matter of fact, shout out to DJ Mr. Get Excited. Get Excited, bitch. That's the homie. Hey man, they play. He, he one of them dudes that play your music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He gets you out there. The major DJs, man. I don't, I don't really know what to say about them, man. I don't, I don't really listen to their radio stations to be honest with you. Until I hear somebody from my click on there, then I'll start listening to. Them. I feel it. I feel it. So, how do you feel about the underground scene in general? I love the underground scene. I'm just waiting on the underground scene in Charlotte to make that next move. There's too much talent in the city for niggas to be stuck in the same spot. We got cats that's been doing it for years and they still stuck in the same spot that they was years ago. Okay. But my label came along and we, as far as I know, the history of AR, it goes back five months. Okay. Honey Dips getting played all over the world. Okay. Breeze's video, Breeze's YouTube videos retarded. So many views. I'm getting out there now. We got cats coming up that's just blowing up. But we got other cats that's been stuck. They've been stacked. They don't know what to do. Okay. Then you got a lot of cats that's out here grinding up and coming. And they working hard, man. I love the underground scene, man. Shout out to Cross the River, too. They put on a hell of a show every Wednesday night. Y'all need to fuck with me. Okay, okay. So where do you do shows at? Man, I do shows wherever they let the monster in. I feel you. If you allow a monster, then I'm in there. All they gotta do is hit up my management at anotherramentertainment.gmail.com. All right, I'm there. So, how about where can people find like some past projects, some past music from you? Some past music, man. All you can go to uh, Borderline Reverb Nation slash Big Borderline. Go to uh, SoundCloud slash Borderline Voorhees. All my old stuff on there. All that old stuff rock, man. But I like the new music even more because it's more. It's more feeling into it, it's more passion into it, because it's a different feel to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's still the same old borderline, still wrecking beats, still smashing tracks, but it's just something new. Okay, so we're, what's the next project you got coming out? Next project got coming out of, we, uh, we're working on the ARE mixtape as a group. Okay. We're working on the label mixtape. And after that, me and, my, me and my brother Breeze, we got a mixtape coming out. Shout out to Breeze. You know what I'm saying? And just, I'm just grinding, man. Working on my my mixtape, Untitled, so far. I'm working on a couple titles, but we'll get that soon. You got any uh, any release dates on the ARE mixtape? February. February? Between January and February is the target date between the AR, for the ARE mixtape. Y'all be on the lookout for that. I'm telling you, it's going to be nothing but fire. Okay, okay, okay. So you want to you wanna give a quick 16? A quick bars? Uh, I put everybody on the spot, see what they got. Alright. Young boy, he tried with the real niggas. Son of a hundred maniacs, nephew to Godzilla. King of Monster Island, at peace amongst the violent at night. You hear the howling, the signal to start a wild and I'm a problem. Niggas is bitches, it's straight like that though. You can call it hate if you want, I'm stating facts, ho. I don't give a fuck if you murder, murder, but kill a killer. Realest niggas know me, never consider phony. Chill, homie, be mobbing. Chevy, suburban, roaring. Gucci lenses is forming, they hating, but I ain't worrying. You bitches, ah, uh, you see, you Bitches get nervous, you dap with me, but you hate me. Bro, I know you wish I would quit. Bitch, nigga, make me face it. Y'all motherfuckers need your face kick. Chase caved in, I whoop your ass on some ape shit. Bitch, nigga, this is not a bullet, this is a spaceship. Take off. This nigga went hard. So, which was about 6'5? Man, between 6'3 and 6'5, depending on which convenience store I'm in. Okay, I hear you. <laughs> I read you, I read you. So, um, Real quick, uh, shout out your Twitter, your your Facebooks, any anything like that. Hey man, go like the fan page, man. Borderline Voorhees. Matter of fact, it's just borderline. Yeah, I changed it. It's just borderline. Type in borderline. You see me looking just like this with these foreign Gucci shades. Hey man, let me bring this up to you. I don't brag too much, but I'm so sick of seeing y'all niggas stunting. You talking about you driving fast cars? You got this and you got that. And every time I see you, you either getting a ride to the club. You got a fucking Honda on your damn key ring. Quit lying to the people, man. I don't lie about shit in my music. If I say I'm gonna fuck you up, I'm gonna fuck you up. When I don't, if I say I'm balling, believe me, at that time I'm balling. But you'll never hear me say that, cause right now a nigga ain't balling. When I get that big check, I'm balling. Until then, I keep my mouth shut and keep it real, man. Y'all niggas some liar liars, man. You keep telling the world you're gonna set it on fire and you ain't. Stop that shit, man. But back to business. Uh, holla at me at Twitter slash Big Borderline. Facebook, like page, borderline. Check out my reverb page, 
Big Borderline, Reverb.com slash Big Borderline, SoundCloud slash Borderline Voorhees. Matter of fact, go check out AnotherRamEntertainment.com. Check out the whole fam. We all on that, man. Go check out my personal website, BorderlineVoorhees.com. That's where you find all my old music. You find the links to that, Piff, and all that shit, man. All right, all right. Just give you final shout-outs. Hey, man, shout-out to the whole A.R.E. fam, man. A.R.E. Bank. You know how we get down, we take it over, we take over, then we take off. Hey man, I wanna shout out I wanna shout out my nigga Country the Dime, man. He been rocking with me for a long time. Shout out to Chessy Boy. Shout out to Man, just shout out to everybody who dug with me, man. I wanna give a very, very special shout out to my wife, man. From day one, she been down with me. From day one. When you find somebody that's down with you from day one, that's who you stick with. I'm gonna tell you niggas the secret too. Don't, act, don't, don't go after the girl that you like. Go after the girl that like you. Because she got something to prove to you. And when she prove it to you, you better fucking respond in kind, nigga. Or you're going to lose a good girl quick. Tell her. But uh, shout out to everybody that rock with A.R.E., man. Shout out to you, DJ Squirrel. Fucking with your boy. Shout out to the whole motherfucking Queen City, man. East side, west side. But I love my west side. North side, south side. All that. A.R.E. Bang. Hey man, it's your boy Big Borderline A.R.E. Bang! Shout out to the screws behind the camera, man. We taking over, take over and take off. What's going on, fam? That's all I get. Hold on, sir. What up, Carolina? Ecstasy, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to play some of the usual sounds, and uh, let's go. Okay. What's good, NC? Boy, MXG, coming straight out of Hot Point. That's right up the highway. You know I'm coming to represent what we do. Okay. All right. Oh, shit, we got Hot Point in this motherfucker. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hey, we gonna flip a coin and be be somewhere fair. You want hands or tail? All right. Tails it is. Alright, DX is going first. Now I'm telling y'all, I brought a record label with me, alright? I brought them with and they're signing motherfuckers, straight like that. So if you want to make that money, I brought them here. Do your thing. Act like it's fucking the best thing in the world. Go hard. Don't come with no bullshit. You ready? You're going first. Marty G up first. He did 45 seconds, then we go to the next contestant, then we come back again, and then we gonna, uh, they gonna pick the winner, and, and that's how it's gonna go. Track one, baby.
Bobby G. Hey, yo, I'm going with the ecstasy. Yo, he just had better sounds, better switch ups, and it just sound better. Yeah. The ecstasy, my vote. Who's the ecstasy? Oh, yeah. We go with it, too. Yeah, um. I agree, I'm going with the ecstasy. Yeah. I mean, if you need feedback, I can give you that too. I agree. He sounds way more polished. Yeah. Um, his switch ups was dope, man. He just, he had two big records right there. He just, Woo! Woo! Your joints was dope too. Don't get me wrong, I like your joints, but his joints just was, was there already, first round. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the ecstasy too. Just both got good sound, but the clarity was there. Definitely feeling I'm just so tough saying this. Uh, I'm yeah. 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 I'm not doing it for you. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. I don't want to raise my voice. 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 Okay, we got honey dip. State your name for the camera. What's up, it's your girl, honey dip. You already know what it is. Where you from, Honey Dip? I'm from Havelock, North Carolina, 252, but I reside in the 704. NC Stand Up. How'd you get that name? Um, It came from a lover friend of mine. He used to like the song Jim Jones, Honey Dip. My name is Honey Dip, and I took it in right there. I feel like. How long you been rapping? Nine years. Nine years? Yeah. So where, where's your career at at this point? I would say, well, um, my single is on iTunes and Amazon's. Um, my video in the club has 62,000 views. My video, She Messy, it has like 16,000 views. Um, I've been featured on a lot of mixtapes, DJ Drama mixtape, DJ Fahrenheit, um, Coast to Coast mixtape, shout out to DJ Casper. Shout out to DJ Unique, Team Cherokee DJs. Uh, just did a collab with Princess, working with Futuristic Beats in New York. Did a collab and he featured me with Meek Mill, so stay tuned. He just did a session in Patchwork Studios in Atlanta, Georgia, and went down. I had some hot tracks produced by Max Arsenal. Stay tuned, we're going to be dropping that real soon. Pretty much working on getting the tour going together. Y'all need a first lady, a female to go on tour with y'all. I let Honey Dip because I'm ready. Uh huh. A R E. How'd you get hooked up with A R E? <laughs> well, to be honest, another room started because my mother seen that I was serious about what I was doing, so she took the time to start the company, and I had to be the first lady and we just keep building it. Now it's more than music, it's a movement. Like, we about 15 deep. And we're working on a mixtape called Lady Bosses. It's a female movement. It's featuring, like, some of the hottest females in North and South Carolina. So females, hit me up. I'm always down for collabs, ghostwriting, all that. It's a female movement. That's what we're about. Unity. So your mother is Beverly? That is correct. Oh, okay. We got the, we got the mother Queen doing the thing going. Dip. All right, all right. <laughs> So, um, well, how do you feel about the radio support for underground artists in Charlotte? So far, I can't complain because Charlotte shows me love underground, like, radio-wise. I haven't made it to the big stations yet, but I'm working on it. I just got a follow-back from No Limit Larry this morning, so that's a start. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, over your nine years, what has been your biggest obstacles that you've seen? My biggest obstacles would be the haters. Ah. It's hard to not feed into it, but I'm learning. Okay. Um, you want to take your hat off? You want to show, show what you got working with? Oh, yeah. Uh, hold on. I got the A-R-E in my hair. It's the A, the 
R and E. Oh, okay. What's up? Sister Braid, so y'all need some braids, hit her up. Star on Facebook. Do this. I like colors. Okay, now have you worked with any um any underground artists out here in Charlotte? Plenty. Um I'm working on a collab with Ziggy Zai. Um I did some tracks with Don Dada. Uh, of course, everybody on my team. I did a track with Mr. 704 like two years ago. Um, I've worked with Big H. He signed the Grand Hustle now. I work with a whole lot of artists. It's too big. They, they know who they are. And like I said, I'm always willing to collab. Hit up Queen B for details. I see you got a lot of tattoos. Uh, you got any, any inspiration behind these tattoos? Yep. My mother... Nephews that died, my kids, people that I love. Uh, I have ARE on my leg. I have a star on my leg because I'm a superstar. I have a lion on my back because I am a Leo, natural born leader. I like you. I want more, but Queen B, you know. Talk about image. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what were some of your early musical influences? Like, who do I look up to? Yeah, like what made you start rapping? I listen to MC Light a lot, um, Queen Latifah, Salt and Pepper, that was my girls, TLC, I would say TLC is the ones that pretty much brought me out of my shell, because I like their little goofy swag, I don't know, but yeah, pretty much those things. Okay, you got any projects coming up? Working on dropping the Lady Boss mixtape, like I said earlier. Um, I'm working on dropping my own mixtape. It's going to be titled The Silent Come Up. Stay tuned. It's going to be on that Uh We've been working on this video called Pigeon Toad. It's one of my singles. I uh, made a dance up to it, so stay tuned. That'll be dropping soon. And we're definitely going to drop that showstopper. It's going to be all filmed by Crucifix Productions. Y'all need to look him up. Highest cameraman around hands down. Okay. Now, do you have any singles out now? Anything you're pushing now? Of course. Um, in a Club, that's on iTunes and Amazon. That's the one that made it to all those mixtapes. You can check it out on YouTube, Honey Dip in the DA Club. And also, She Messy, Selfie Explanatory. That's when I kind of showed y'all my acting skills. I do that, too. So, check it out. Like, comment, share. Follow me on Twitter at MZ underscore Honey underscore Dip One. Okay. Now, what's your studio process like? Like, how do you create your, your, your records? What you mean? How do I create um, are you, do, do you make the... Does the producer already have the beat made? Do you... Pretty much, I pick the beat first. Uh, I like to write the, write the song to the beat and have it memorized before I go in the studio. So when I go in the studio, I can just lay it down. They call me one take shot because I be in and out of the booth. Okay, so do you, how long is the average session for you to, I mean, to knock out get, maybe like three or four songs? I can do three or four songs in about two hours. Maybe about, shorter than that, depending on if they're going to mix it in between. If you're talking about just straight vocals, then probably about an hour. I do this. I love music. When I get in the studio, it's a whole other meeting come out. Do you have any shows coming up? I do. Um... November 2nd, I will be in Virginia Beach. Uh, November 11th, I'll be hosting the show in Chester, South Carolina. Uh, that's it right now. I just got finished doing shows. Last night, I had a show in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Uh, the night before that, it was in Atlanta. The night before that, I opened up for Mr. Cheeks in Elkin, North Carolina. That was a nice experience. I got to be backstage with him rubbing elbows. When I performed, he was like right there front and center, so that made me feel real good. And he followed me on Twitter. So, oh, we did a fundraiser for cancer. We support all causes. So, y'all ever need someone to help come out perform, you can call ARE because that's what we do. Okay, now do you mind giving a, a quick 16? No, oh, I don't mind giving a quick 16. Keep it edited. Huh? No, nah, go on, do you. From the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep. Only thing on my mind is that M-O-N-I-E. Make it rain on me. 
bitch, I'm honey still. Off up in the club, finna make a quick flip. Taking trips, state to state, eating good steak on my plate. And my potatoes is baked, living lavish, life is great. Broke ass bitch, let them hate. Popping bottles, make them wait. VIP, we make them wait. Hey. I stay trapping all the time, stay rapping all the time, stay grinding all the time, stay shining all the time, 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 about that life, all the time, A.R.E., all the time. That's my new single too, stay tuned. You got so much, like, just follow me. Okay. the movement. Yeah, give out your your Twitter, your Facebook, your Instagram. Twitter is at MZ underscore honey underscore dip one. Facebook is Lachey.HoneyDip. Uh, Reverb Nation is just backslash HoneyDip. That's pretty much the only sites that I be on. And YouTube, follow me on YouTube. Subscribe to that channel. You can find me on YouTube under Crucifix Productions or either Beverly Corley or. And make sure you visit www.anotherrimentertainment.com that's the company website we got all the hottest artists producers videographers all that stuff and i need y'all to go to www.queencityawards.com nominate honey dip i was nominated for best female hip-hop artist and also new artist of the year you can vote until november 14th and the awards are december 6th so i greatly appreciate y'all support okay just give you your final shout outs I want to give a shout out to you, first of all, for the interview, of course. That's a good look. I want to shout out to my team because without my team, I couldn't be doing this. Um, shout out all the producers that's ever worked with me. Shout out all the fans, friends. Shout out to everybody that's out here grinding. No matter what, don't let nobody stop you. When you get to the top, more people are going to hate, but just keep going. Like, just want to stay focused. And.
You run, run, dirty, got certified heat. Rust out like that, yeah, that's me. M O E, so that I know. Seven days a week, I'm counting my dough. Stupid that nigga chase me, he's told. You never had shit from the white state, bro. L O L, nigga, you're the joke. You post that lit, now you're sipping coke. M O B, nigga, that's a lie. M O E, till I fucking die. In the club, we be super drunk. Drop the pill, we super drunk. Roll the weed and pack the pill. Yeah, you know we love the sun. Slide in the shine. Drunk, got you blind. Money on my mind. M O E, yeah, I be grinding. In the club, we be super drunk. Drop the pill, we super drunk. Roll the weed and pack the pill. Yeah, you know we love the sun. Slide in the shine. Drunk, got you blind. Money on my mind. M O E, yeah, I be grinding. In the club, 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 in the club. Up for having me here. Shout out to my whole ARE team. Shout out to all the females out here grinding. Shout out to North Carolina. Shout out to Princess in Atlanta. We did that Count Me In soundtrack. It's hot. Stay tuned. Shout out to DJ Unique. Shout out to Trillville. They came and chill with me in Patchwork Studios. Most definitely shout outs to Maximus Arsenals, Demario, Iris. Shout out to everybody that's out here doing something. No, you should. All right, we got some, some new spitters down here, all the way from High Point. State your name. Marlon, I go by Link. I'm D, I go by Delusional. I'm Kai. Kai. I'm Kai. <laughs> <laughs> so how long y'all been making music? Uh, uh, we, we met up, like, what, like, about four years ago. Um, I've been doing it for, like, six years. I don't know how long. Uh, me and this man right here, we've been doing it probably about 13 years. 13 years? I make, I pretty much produce all the music, you know, edit it, mix it and everything. I spit too. They spit with me. They make the beats oftentimes, so. Uh, what are some of your early uh, music influences? You want to go first? I'm, uh, I'm old school. I like Wu-Tang Clan, you know, uh, Old Dirty Bastard, uh, Killer Priest, uh, Flatliners, Grave Diggers, uh, Tech 9 big fan of Tech 9 all of us are. Um, Man, it, it kind of varies, all kind of stuff. I'm, I'm more like north or up north or Midwest kind of style person. What about you? I like, I like Ludacris, Eminem. Uh, I like Biggie, Tupac. I listen to them a lot. Uh, it's like Beastie Boys. Who are you listening to now? Right now I'm listening to just Eminem, Tech 9 Two Chains, Two Chains, all the other <laughs> rappers out there. <laughs> yeah. okay. I'm not I'm not too big on the radio nowadays. I'm not hating on nobody just to you know clear the air on that. But I'm like like I said I'm big on Tech 9. I'm a huge Tech 9 fan. Um, I'm actually planning on trying to do a song with him come next year if everything goes goes the way it's supposed to. So you know, that's my main influence right now. I like that fast spitting and everything. You know. Twisting up the styles, chopping it up. Okay, so how would you describe your style of, of, of music? Uh, it's all original in my eyes. You know, I've always, I mean, I, I, I get told I sound like we do something like rock rap, you know what I mean? Um, some people have told us like we sound like a head PE. A lot of people probably aren't familiar with them. Um, but like I said, uh, Tech 9, anything strange music style. Uh, but we, like I said, we have our own style, you know. Just repping delusional music productions is what we repping. Delusional so. music productions? Yes, sir. All right, so y'all all fall under that umbrella? Yep. Yes, sir. No doubt. My man over here, he's, he's, he's quiet. He's camera, he's <laughs> I mean, camera shy. touching base on everything, man. He's <laughs> camera shy over here. I got to say much. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, um, I mean, as far where would you like to see your, your career in the next five years? I want to be on stage rocking, rocking some crowds, yeah. man. <laughs> I'm trying to be, uh, you know, my ultimate goal, honestly, is to uh, start up like a, an actual, you know, actual record production company. Um, we're in the process of trying to get the monies right and everything right now, you know. Uh, we actually record several different artists, you know. We got about like 10 different artists or so that come through. Um, you know, they pay us to record tracks, mix it, mix it down and everything, you know, so. But then we collaborate with all, all kind of people, too. So just keep it versatile. Okay. Me? I want to be on stage, mic in my hand, behind in the booth, making music. So, I mean, are you are you currently doing shows now, or how, how's that going? 
Well, we ain't got their shows. We're just sitting around writing music. Freestyle. More working on the studio game right now, you know, trying to get that perfected before we take it to the next step. I'm trying to do it in order. In that okay. Order. Are you uh, familiar with, like, Rock the Bells? Nah. The, the, that live, uh, like, uh, Wu-Tang, Ghostface, that underground show that they do? Not, not quite for sure, no. Okay. <laughs> this guy right here. <laughs> All right, Rami, I need to, I need to give, give me a 16 real quick. Let me see what you got. All right. Yo, it's, <laughs> Yo, it's DMP, and we coming through when y'all coming at us, and I feel sorry for you. Y'all can't fuck with us. We're the best of the best. We just label y'all bitches as the best of the rest. Sure, you got cars, money. Yeah, you live in the riches. Look at me and got shit and making fun of you bitches. Say hippity ha, who blah, smoke your weed and get high, fly high in the sky, hope the way down you don't die. Bitch, you can't do it like me. I'm a motherfucking G getting head from the game. That's the way it's gonna be till I see it to the end. NCBG for the win. Yo, I'm coming in and I'm so fucking sick. And I dare you to predict my shit. I can spare you. Christ, still get hit from the sawed off 12 gauge verbal rip. Okay, that was hot. So, what, your links, right? Yeah. So, I mean, where can people find you? You got a Twitter, a Facebook, I mean, a SoundCloud? Uh, we're working on putting everything back together. Uh, we were working with a man. You can check us out at Delusional, uh, YouTube slash user Delusional, D33LUSIONAL, um, Facebook slash Delusional Music Page. It's D E E L U S I O N A L M U S I C P A G E. And then all of our links are included on the Facebook page as well. We got that piff. Uh, SoundCloud, um, unsigned.com, musicbrackets.com, YouTube. We got two different YouTube accounts. Uh, SoundClick, if I didn't already say it. We got like several different sites you can catch up catch up with us on on there. All right, so, you got you got 16 for us too. Go ahead and spit a little something. Let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to reach the tip top. I make my words flip flop. I'm all about the hip hop. Ah, hold up, hold up. <laughs> I messed it up. Yeah, hold up. Might have cut this scene. Yo. <laughs> Bless me up, hold on. I'm trying to reach the tip top. I'm all about the hip hop. I make my words flip flop. My rhyme sensational. Going up gravitational. Speaking inspirational like I'm denominational. So follow me because I will be so navigational on this blazing track. And y'all can thank Delusional Productions for that. And I'm still messing up. Hold up. Go ahead, cut to the scene. My bad. Okay, okay, this okay. This is messing me up right now. All right. It's just another day, get high, get by, 9 to 5, it's alright, but I need a better life, I feel like there's no other way to get paid than to do this music and use it and say what I gotta say, been at this rap shit, but still can't scratch, I haven't found an itch yet, but, well, I that's all too. <laughs> I haven't found an itch yet, but the scratch is back. Why do I feel I should even get on the mic despite what people say about me? I feel that it's right tonight. I fill my cup up and drink it to the bottom and blossom this awesome inside. No longer playing possum, been watching my life passing by and I am in the process of washing away all my pain and leaving all my losses behind. Find that spark inside and rise it to a flame engulfing in myself and I no longer feel the same. Looking in the mirror, I recognize the face, but wait, it's obvious to see that a change is made. Huh? And that's Kai, K-Y. Yep. He's got a, he's got a sprained wrist. Look like he knocked somebody out. Yeah, I punched the mailbox. Uh, <laughs> going 45 miles uh, an hour and the car stuck his hand out. Oh, man. <laughs> so what's up, man? You got, you got to give us some more? A little something I'm more? I'm come back with it again. My bad. I'm a little camera shy, too. All right, here we go. Get my head straight. Yo, I'm trying to reach the tip top. I'm all about the hip hop. I make my words flip flop. And yo, hold on. <laughs> my rhyme play is not going right. I rhyme sensational, going up gravitational, speaking inspirational like I'm denominational. So follow me because I will be so navigational on this blazing track. And y'all can thank Delusional Productions for that. I'm just a time bomb ticking away and I'm about to set it off up in this bitch, okay? This is the reason I'm living purpose. I'm giving with spitting legions of demons and flipping ser sermons are burning. So listen, path of my wrath is just glistening. Can't take the snakes that are hissing, but I'm not quitting. So I keep on ripping. This is what I'm about. So what I'm about to do is spit the good word and share the truth follow me now cuz I'm the leader for all who is lost and I bear the cross right here on my neck so all some, right, some like light that. some light no. so I mean are you guys into battle rap you, you follow that scene or you yeah. any familiar no, I, don't, me personally, I, don't. I do a little bit but honestly like I don't like uh, freestyle so I'd rather write you rather write yeah. okay you familiar with like grind time or like king of the dots smacks and anything like that no. nothing like that no. what about you <laughs> not, not really no not really, no. 
I, I mean, like, I, I, I do battle rap and stuff, you know what I mean? But, like, I'm the reason why I'm messing up on all this is because I'm I, I really wasn't prepared to... I've been recording stuff so long, I really, I'm slacking on the memory game, you know what I mean? I just write it, spit it, and, and mix it down, you know? I, I really need to get my memory game going back again. Oh, no, nah, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I, I put them on the spot, I caught them, <laughs> caught them on the spot, see yeah. what's up with it, see what's and up I with it. And I had it all prepared, we just had some car trouble, you know, we all, my head's all messed up and everything, I'm making excuses right now, you know, whatever, it's my fault, but, you know. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, um, we'll come together real quick. Just shout out your last your last few parting shots. All right, like like I said, y'all check us out. Um, you'll hear a lot better music on the recordings. You know what I'm saying it's all perfected. So check us out. Like I said, uh, Facebook slash Delusional Music page. You got YouTube slash User slash D three three L U S I O N A L, and all of our links are included on there. So y'all give us a shout out. Report, uh, support your uh, local artists. You know what I mean? Repping uh, High Point, North Carolina right now. And we got links over here. Uh, it's me and Kai. Alright. <laughs> uh, big paint, take more paint. You can drink what you want to drink. Everything here paid for. Crown town, my territory. Back talking that brick talk. 100,000, what it looking like. Everything I read name brain on me. Even my own name brain Christian G. 